there team, what's going on? It's Neck here, and welcome back to another MC Modgen tutorial. Today, we're going to be covering some pretty basic stuff, uh, but just setting up your project and creating your first block. So that's going to be this tutorial. I'm going to be creating a series of tutorials on MC Modgen on how to use the latest version. If you're here for the gaming videos, you can just kind of ignore these videos. Uh, but if you were interested in creating your own Minecraft mods, uh, this might be just your thing. So let's go ahead and get right into this. Let's go ahead and create... A brand new project here and we're gonna have to give the project a name so uh, we're just gonna name this uh, tutorial project yeah so tutorial project yeah I'm gonna add project go to view my project and you can see it's now on the list so we're gonna go to here we can do some settings here change the version and everything uh, I'm not really interested in doing that so we'll just go back I uh, will go here so you can see any of these tabs I go to now I'm gonna get a nasty message saying there's nothing here so I haven't done anything yet so we're going to start out and create a brand new block. So, block name. This has to be a name that does not have spaces in it. Um, so, we're just going to give it a name, tutorial, block. And the tooltip, this is what the player actually will see. Um, I'll probably eventually remove the block name field. So, if you're watching this tutorial and there's no block name field, just ignore it. Just forget about it because I'll probably just end up using your tooltip uh, for it. So, anyways, tooltip is what the player is going to see. So, we're just going to make it see block of learning. Is what the player will see in game. All right, and for the block ID, this is actually just for legacy support. It's the only reason I'm leaving this in here because uh, block IDs are have been removed as of 1.8. Uh, so we're just gonna go ahead and put it like 200 here, uh, but that's not a big deal. So material, material matters because this is what is going to be effective against it. So for instance, if you select uh, this is sand, then like shovels will be effective against it. If you select stone, then uh, pickaxes will be effective against it essentially. So. And it also affects the sound effects, which it's gonna make. So we're gonna go ahead and just keep things interesting. Let's just leave. Let's just leave his ground. So we'll use shelves. A uh, hardness is gonna be like how long it takes to break it with whatever tool you're using. Um, and so basically, um, eleven, I believe, was the hardness of obsidian. Uh, whatever I was building this, I did this a long time ago. I don't really remember. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and just be like pretty solid. So let's go do like nine or something. Uh, resistance is its resistance to explosions. So. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 7, 8, 9, 10 is generally uh, what the blocks were. I believe 2,000 was obsidian, and I believe this, like, 6 million or however many zeros there are uh, was bedrock. So uh, you kind of do whatever you want. We're going to go ahead and let it leave it at 1 so we can see it get exp uh, get it, see it get get exploded. The lightness is how, um, how much it glows, if it's going to have a light value. We're going to go ahead. This has to be a value between 0 and 1. I'll probably eventually add a drop down for that to make it a little more easy. A um, little more easier. Let's go with that. More easier. All right, so we're going to just give it a value of 1. Uh, and the block drop is what it drops whenever you break it. If you leave it as none, it will simply drop itself, which we're just going to let it drop itself. And we'll say when, it bre when you break it, you'll get one of itself. Gravity is if it's affected by gravity. We're going to go ahead and give it that property just in case we want to, and we're going to click Create Block. So now if we return to our Project Manager, we can now see that tutorial block has been created. All right, guys. Well, that was a short little video showing you how to create a block in MC Majin. We're going to be moving on in the next video to creating an item.